So we're gonna look at some pull positional isometrics, both in the clean and in the snatch. Um, I've talked about isometrics before. It's a great way to just accumulate some good time under tension to help the athlete feel particular positions. Um, and the, what's nice about the pull is that you can set your hooks, your J hooks, anywhere along that pull line. So it can be right from the ground, if they're having a hard time feeling where their body should be, where their balance should be when the bar's on the floor. It can be right below the knee. It can be right above the knee where things get really tricky so they find that position. It can be the power position, right? If they really struggle feeling balanced in that power position, we can set their isometric hold there and just let them accumulate that time and get familiar with where the position's supposed to be. Okay, so here I have the hooks set approximately to where the bar would be on the floor. Sometimes it's hard to get it just right, just depending on the type of rack you have, the spacing between uh, the holes here, the length or the height of your J hooks, right? But it's an approximation. We wanna get as close to that start position as possible. So I'm resting the bar against the rack. I have my feet set in my start position. I'm gonna sit into it, set my upper back, and then pull. Now by pull, I mean push with my legs. I'm pushing my legs down into the ground. I'm resisting with my upper back to maintain position. My hands are holding on and I'm just trying to wedge as much pressure against that hook as possible. And we're gonna hold five to 10 seconds. Okay, this next one, I have the hook set so that the bar is right below my knee. This one is great if the athlete has a hard time pushing the knee back or when they push the knee back to get it out of the way, they're off balance, they're too far in their heels. So this, you can really just have them spend some time there, keeping their weight even in their feet, shoulders over the bar, not sitting back, but still getting those knees out of the way. And the point with these is to push, to help the athlete feel their feet apply pressure downward, hear their legs engagement, develop some good postural strength in their back just from holding those isometrics and feel how the pressure is pushing downward. They're not pulling anything, they're pushing, they're pushing the floor away. This next one, I have the bar set a little closer to my power position. It's not it exactly, but it's not right above my knee, it's somewhere in the middle. You can set this wherever you struggle with most or where your athletes struggle with most. If it's right above the knee, if they really struggle just making that transition, put the bar right above their knee. Let them feel where that needs to be. If it's somewhere around mid thigh, then set it there. If it's their power position, if they're getting onto their toes early and have a hard time keeping their feet flat, maybe let's put it there. Okay, this last one, I wanted to set the bar in my power position in my snatch, just to give you uh, an example. And what I like with this one is starting lower, working into the power position and then holding there, right? This is really great if athletes have a hard time getting into their power position or knowing where it is as it's happening. So we're gonna slow it down, snatch grip. You're gonna start under the hooks, feet, bar against. And I like to start somewhere around mid thigh or above the knee and then slowly up to that power position. And then when they get there, push, push with their legs, chest up tall, active, active, active. 